Now, David, we're five away from a million. But you, you were content to get to 32, but I want you to go beyond that now. I, I hope so. Down to one lifeline, 50-50, $64,000. Here it is. Okay. Which of the following members of the Black Panthers wrote the book Soul on Ice? Bobby Seale, Huey Newton, Eldridge Cleaver, Fred Hampton. It's a good question. I remember back, I, I read Soul on Ice when I was in high school. Remember who wrote I'm, it? I'm... I'm gonna go with, uh, so let, me, let me think about it for a second. It's not Fred Hampton. It's not Bobby Seale. I'm almost positive it's Eldridge Cleaver, so I'm going to go with C. Want to make C your final answer? Yes, I will. See that? You did it for 64,000. All right. He's up to $125,000. Still has that 50-50 lifeline. Here it is for 125000 which of the following actresses has never starred in a movie as Joan of Arc? Ingrid Bergman, Catherine Deneuve, Jean Seberg, Mila Jovovich. This is my kind of question. Of course. Now let me see if I can actually answer it right. It's not Mila jo Jovovich. She was in the most recent Joan of Arc film. You know, the question is, which of the following which has, has, never, has starred? never starred? So I know that the answer, which has, not, has never starred, so Mila Jovovich has, so she's not part of, she's, okay. it's not her. I am so certain it's Catherine Deneuve. Um, and I'm just trying to decide whether I should take the lifeline. Um, I think it's Gene Seberg, I'm almost, and Ingrid Bergman, I'm almost positive played Joan of Arc. And I never remembered Catherine Deneuve playing Joan of Arc. I'm gonna go with B. I'm gonna go with B. That's my final answer. You're strong tonight, David. You're strong. I'm, I'm final ready. answer, Catherine Deneuve. Yes, sir. Just won $125,000. Yeah. Right. Welcome back. He's going for $250,000. thousand dollars David. There it is. Amazing. David Reiser, big movie fan, and I had a feeling you'd uh, come up with the right answer on that one. Ingrid Bergman back in 1948, and Gene Seberg, 1957, and uh, Jovovich just last year, 1999. What are you going to do with the money? Uh, well, I'll, 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 I'd like to go back to, to, uh, to, or go to grad school or law school. But for right now, I need to replace my 85 Corolla. And Your 85 Corolla? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have to get a new car, and I want to travel. All There's right, a lot good. of travel. Well, that's good. All right, now, David. Confident? Yes, sir. Strong, concise, focused. We go for $250,000. Let's play. <laughs> what is the name of architect Frank Lloyd Wright's Wisconsin home and studio? Hollyhock? Usonia? Falling Water? Taliesin? We just, I think I want to take the 50-50. Want to narrow it down by two? Yes. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers, please, leaving David one wrong answer and the correct one. Falling water, tally yes. I just want to remind you that you would lose 93,000 if you missed this.
you know, um, And neither one ring a bell. Rings a bell. I, I D does, but I, I don't know that it rings a bell enough for me to want to take a chance. Mm -hmm. Falling water Taliesin. I'm going to do something that may be a little bit reckless, but I nervous. think... What are you going to do, David? I'm going to go with D. Should I ask the question? Should I ask the final question? Yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. David. David. You just want a quarter million dollars! Water was his masterpiece. Oh. Taliesin was that home the, the studio home. in Wisconsin. That's right. That's right. Okay, my man. We're talking about a half million dollars here. Okay. But the lifelines are all gone. This is going to be brute David Rice. You got it. <laughs> and should you miss, you're going to lose 218,000. But should you win, I'm taking the money. <laughs> yeah. well, let's take a look at the question. We're two away from a million. Here it is for a half million dollars. <laughs> Who was the first woman to call the play by play? on a network telecast of an NFL game. Gail Zierens, Phyllis George, Leandra Riley, Leslie Visser. Wow. The play-by-play. -play. Well, it's not Phyllis George. Phyllis George was the first person to do the pregame show. What's funny about this? I don't remember. Leslie Visser does pregame shows and does the sideline for a th for maybe I shouldn't say the network. Um, the other two names. They, mean they seem they they ring a bell. Especially Gail Searns, but, you know, if I had to guess, they're so, they're so, they're, if I had to guess, I would say A, but I'm not going to guess. I think I'm going to take the money. The final decision is to take the money right here. Yes, sir. But if you were going to guess. I would say... I would say A. It was, it's either A or C. I would say A. Well, you would have won $500,000, yeah. but $250,000 ain't That's bad either. Not bad. Hey, David. Thank you, Regis. Nice to Thank have you here. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, Thank you. Yeah, it was Gail Serens. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Seattle Seahawks in 1987. And I'm telling you, David's local Toyota dealership better give him a good deal on a new Corolla. All right.